Context to yeah. I want to say that high taste can cause the tourists not to prefer to come to Portugal. Price are an important impact that affect the preference of the tourists all around the world. Thank you. Yes, okay, but the taxes won't be that high. I'm just a small percentage and that goes to the government to pay the other things that we want to change, like for example, the electric tax tax. as the tourists will, more visit, will visit more parts of the city and even more locals will be expelled. What do you think about this? <laughs> the central will be expanded as the tourists will visit more parts of the city and even more locals will be expelled. What do you think about this? Well, okay, uh, I see your point, but uh, I don't know what we are talking about like, from our presentation, because like we wanted to build hotels in the suburbs, and if we build hotels in the suburbs, then the city center does like expand or increase. What do you mean by that? Yeah, it was, we wanted to have more attractions outside the city center, so there are more tourists there, and the city center will be expanded. Well, but that was your point. You said that you want to build parks outside the city. No? No? no. no. What do you think? Yes? Um, you know that we have lots of space in Portugal, then we can uh, build the parks in there, so without spelling the, the local people. So, you say that you want to uh, have more attractions uh, outside the, cent the city centers, but uh, more, tu more tourists will come to cities, will they will still come to the city centers because in the city centers we have the history and then they will come to the suburbs to see uh, the attractions that we are creating. So, there, then we will be tourists like everywhere and the city will be like a legal chaos because we have uh, lots of people everywhere. Uh, so you said the city center is going to expand and uh, more people are going to come to the city. Or is that what you said? Okay. Because uh, if more tourists come to the city center because of the attractions, and uh, the city center is bigger, it can spread out, and less tourists are in one spot. And that's a good thing because there's less pollution, there's less noise, less trash, and it's not all in one place, but spread out throughout the city because there's other stuff to do, not just in the city center. But people always uh, look to where they are, live or where they come. <laughs> 
I can go to shopping center with them and maybe I can go to parks, uh, paintball centers, yeah. Maybe I can visit some uh, centers with them and maybe we can bring something and we can talk about their, uh, something like that, yeah, that's it. In your country, do you, do you, do you, in your country, do you not have a shopping center or your friends? If I, uh, but I don't have them in my country. They are my friends and they live in Portugal and I want to uh, do with them. And I can go with Epecan, uh, with shopping center and I, I can go with Carolina or Eduardo or uh, Shushan or something like that. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that's a good idea to just stick to one personal problem yeah. between you two, so... <laughs> um, so, well, if you say was just one idea to like because like the main problem in Portugal or in Lisbon is like the um, the rise of the real estate prices they raised like uh, 20% in one year in Lisbon so uh, we want to save Lisbon to like transform into a new Venice which is just like a picturesque facade where all the people come but there's no life so we want to save like the basic spots or the cities so that's why we want to build hotels outside the city to save the city and I don't understand what your problem is with building hotels outside the city. Um, you always destroy nature if you build something and you can't just say that okay we're not going to build houses anywhere because then you have like to destroy, destroy nature. So I think it's a little bit superfluous that we talk about that. But Well then, I also have like some critique because um, you are an economic group, so your aim is like to make money, and um, but you didn't like phrase like real solutions because you said okay, overall economic economy benefits in 2016, uh, Portugal will make 12.7 billion euros from the tourism sector, um, but also 
mass tourism poses new structural problems like overcrowding and you don't have like solutions for that and you have to find solutions because instead as I already told you like Lisbon or like Porto is like going to transform into like a picturesque facade just like a facade so you have to save the culture. Yes, um, the tourists they could stay in the hotels that already exist in the suburbs and with our solution that the, um, that there would, would be a tax for the hotels inside the centers and uh, not for the hotels outside the centers and so that they would be cheaper there and more appealing to the tourists that will like maybe solve a little bit of the problem but when they uh, when the tourists go like, to the suburb because they're cheap hotels. Okay, but I think the hotels are not the main problem, but more like uh, new um, like accommodations like Airbnb, like as you already told, as you did in your presentation, like the main problem is Airbnb, and you also said like we want a law that regulates the total number of short-lived Airbnbs, um, and then why should we tax hotels if we want to find like new accommodations like Airbnb? No. It's just like nonsense. We want to. You, we don't want Airbnb. We want hotels. We want like traditional hotels and not like Airbnb because Airbnb exposes. But we want the hotels outside the center, so that yeah, so yeah, that's what he wants as well. But we want the hotels outside to the center to be used, and we don't really think that you need to build new ones. Like yeah. Uh, we're against Airbnb, but um, the centers, the hotels, they should stay. That the tourists they can still go to the more expensive ones in the center, but they will, will be less appealing than the other ones. Just uh, one euro in uh, um, as in the supermarket, we just uh, lower the prices of it or um, uh, increase the prices of it. So it's not a problem, I think, for them. In the supermarket, you the only goal is to gain is the profit that you gain with the the products. In the tourist sites, you are buying the product and the experience that you are living on that. Um, uh, but uh, the local to uh, local people who who live in the touristic sites, what about them? And they can uh, maybe they can't afford the prices of them. So uh, maybe we can regulate them and. Uh, yeah, just like that. Because not the companies are the ones who lose, but the shop owners. Because uh, in uh, the city center, uh, on like touristic places, um, the products aren't uh, more expensive because like they just want more money, but because like the rent for the shop is also higher, so like they don't make more profit. So. One has to admit that fixed prices is in general a bad thing and you can just do it like for some products and maybe just in specific areas but you can't do it like in a whole, instead you will have something like uh, a planned economy, I don't know the English expression. And it's not about just um, products in supermarkets or touristic cars, it's like uh, rents or and food and goods like this, and uh, it's just about product on super in supermarkets. So uh, we just regulate the prices in um, in common places and historical sizes or touristic attractions. I don't know, and um, I know the prices depends on season to season, but um, we just need to regulate the uh, prices. So. Uh, And yeah, it's just like that, I think. Yeah, maybe we can set the maximum price for uh, every product so uh, it, uh, it doesn't fluctuate uh, season to season. Maybe they can provide, uh, supply it, uh, maybe they can save it. Uh, if, we, um, if we think that the company's um, profit, then we can save the Portugal, yeah? yeah. Sorry,
I think.